When your money's in the bank, it's insured by the FDIC up to a limit. In the crypto world, there's not always a guarantee. The cryptocurrency uh, company Celsius attracted billions in deposits from 1.6 million customers. But now they can't get their money. Here's CNBC's Kate Rooney. Right crypto company up. Celsius made its name on being the modern alternative to a bank. We bailed them out. They gave themselves record bonuses. Customers tell CNBC that CEO Alex Mashinsky was a reason they put faith in the company. He was seen as more transparent than a Wall Street CEO with weekly YouTube talks, often wearing a T-shirt that reads, banks are not your friends. They say that image was shattered when they heard from Celsius that their accounts would be frozen on June 12th. Celsius blaming extreme market conditions. One customer we spoke to, George Watson, says he lost a year's worth of rent. Now we're all kind of left in the dark. We don't know what's going on. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty nerve-wracking. Alex Mendoza Pinon, a single dad and FEMA worker, says his investments were worth $100,000 at one point. It's money that was really hard-earned. And, and because we want to get to that point where we have a, a more financial stable life, you know, we're sometimes willing to take more risk, but it's not worth it. Millions of everyday investors trusted their digital currencies with Celsius. The appeal, 18% back on your deposits, especially alluring at a time when the average savings account gives you 0.1%. The catch, Celsius is not a bank. Behind the scenes, analysts say that money was lent out to hedge funds or put into other risky crypto investments. The structure began to crumble as prices collapsed. Legal experts say all of this will likely end in bankruptcy. Investors could end up getting pennies on the dollar from their original deposits, but even that won't happen overnight. That's something that would take a while. So Celsius may actually have a fair amount of runway. The only exit door would seem to be bankruptcy. Meanwhile, customers haven't heard an update from Celsius in over a week and say it's hard to hold on to optimism. I still have hopes a little bit, but the hopes, they keep shrinking the, the more time that goes by. I really hope that we can get our funds back or at least some of the funds back because, um, yeah, it wouldn't, it, you know, it would be obviously a big hit to, to lose that money. Shep, five state regulators we spoke to are now investigating Celsius. Its federal regulator declined to comment. We also reached out to the company, its CEO and law firm. No response across the board from Celsius.